make sure you check out our friends at Play Asia, the number one site for Japanese games and merchandise. Shin Megami Tensei meets Fire Emblem. It was an exciting prospect, and when the concept behind Tokyo Mirage Sessions was first announced, it had fans speculate over all of the possibilities for this dream game. I'm sure at least a few wondered if Atlas's famous Mara would make an appearance as well. You know, Shin Megami Tensei's popular penis-headed demon. The final product, however, came as a bit of a surprise. Tokyo Mirage Sessions heavily revolves around Japanese idol culture. This is an industry where young people are marketed for their cuteness, as they take part in a range of media like singing, acting, and modeling. As is commonly the case with games that Nintendo brings over to the West, people were worried that it would see censorship during localization. But did you know that the original Japanese version was actually affected by censorship? A face towel decorated with art from the game was offered as an exclusive pre-order item by Japanese retailer WonderGoo. WonderGoo revealed shortly afterwards, though, that the design would be changed, with many in Japan suggesting that it was due to the character's revealing appearance. The final version does seem to support this theory, with Tsubasa now wearing much more clothing, but a proper, official explanation has not been given. There was also another change made to the Japanese release. Whilst not censorship, it's interesting to point out how one of Kiria's costumes was heavily altered prior to the game's release. Original trailers showed her wearing something much skimpier. You could literally get a complete 360 degree view of her underwear at all times. For unknown reasons, this was later seen to have been altered during some point in the development phase. As for the Western release, concerns were added by an anonymous 4chan post. Whilst at first the message seemed rather random, this quickly changed when, a few days later, the title's Western name of Tokyo Mirage Sessions was revealed for the first time. If you notice, the very first piece of information in the post was the title's new name, prior to it actually being announced. This led to a lot of credibility to all of the other information the post gave. Things like panties being turned into spats, and the game not being dubbed in English and only having Japanese voices. It's of course not known who leaked this info, but it turned out every single one of them was correct. Atlas was confirmed to be handling the localization, whilst being overseen by the publishers Nintendo. And alongside this was the confirmation of more and more censorship, every step along the way of the game's eventual release. Also, yes, Western versions kept the Japanese voices and were not dubbed in English. This is due to wanting to retain the feeling of a Japanese setting, as explained during the Nintendo Direct trailer. And speaking of, the game is based in Japan, so we're keeping its original VO track and adding in English subtitles. Whilst wanting to keep faithful to the Japanese setting, certain Japanese elements were however still toned down when brought overseas. As mentioned earlier, the game is heavily based on idol culture. There are many performances in the game where characters will sing and dance in a manner comparable to the idols found in Japan. But despite the outfits resembling what Japanese idols actually wear, some of these were altered in the West so that they would reveal a lot less skin. One of Tsubasa's signature costumes is based on her appearance in a song simply entitled Feel. Outside of Japan, the outfit was redesigned so that she no longer exposes any cleavage. Another of her costumes was left untouched though, despite revealing exactly the same amount of cleavage as the censored one, and it even being seen throughout the very same song. Oh, and it wasn't just the costume. The V-lines around her waist were airbrushed out, perhaps so that your eyes are not drawn to her groin region so much, or something. Sorry, Subasa. Nintendo needs to remove your pelvis, and replace it with a more child-appropriate pelvis. Next up is the outfit from the song Fly, Your Wind. It closely resembles a wedding dress, an item representing pureness. Well, outside of Japan, all of Tsubasa's body was painted the same color as the dress. Again, this was probably so that her cleavage was less noticeable. So that's additional clothes and paint added to the list of ways that boobs have been censored in this game. But there is another way. One boss has her breasts hidden by thick smoke instead. Thick smoke that clings tightly to her chest and seems to refuse to let go. Over in Japan, all traces of this random smoke are absent. However, that footage is taken from a CGI cutscene. During actual gameplay, the boss is confusingly uncensored. It's also interesting to note how revealing the other characters' outfits can get at times, yet not being modified. Another heavily censored theme in Tokyo Mirage Sessions revolves around gravure idols. Differing from regular idols, with their appeal being based on cuteness, gravure idols specifically try to sexually arouse their audience, meaning their work is explicitly much more erotic in nature. 
In the Japanese version, one of the game's central characters is a former gravure model. Maiko's famous exploits of the past plays a big role in the story, but in the West, any similarities to this profession were changed to regular, fully clothed modeling. There's a whole dungeon based around this, where Maiko is kidnapped by a photographer of gravure models. The first thing is that, outside of Japan, she is always shown sitting up instead of lying down unconscious. Then there are hundreds of photos all over the walls of the dungeon, which were, naturally, of girls in bikinis originally. These were changed to being fully clothed, just like all other art involving bikini modeling. The chapter concludes with Tsubasa finally overcoming her nervousness around gravure modeling and stripping off her clothes to impress the photographer. Overseas, she overcomes the fear of simply regular modeling instead and wears a completely different outfit, with a number of the poses that she makes also being made less suggestive. The photographer then photos Maiko, Tsubasa, and another party member, Eleonora, in a group gravure session as they confidently flaunt their stuff. Keeping consistent with the other changes, the girls' outfits and poses were completely altered to remove the sexual nature of the scene. However, not everything was kept consistent. In a few parts of the English version, Tsubasa will still wear her bikini, such as during a certain soft drink commercial. But in most cases, the censored costume's various other appearances throughout the story retain the same changes. In fact, you can even choose to equip these outfits during battle, so the edits are noticeable throughout the entire game. Sticking with the censorship that can be found during battles, it should be expected that during certain acrobatic actions the female characters perform, you'll be able to see their underwear. In the localized version though, this part of the girls' bodies was replaced with an empty black void. Then there are multiple enemies that were made to cover up outside of Japan as well. For example, these human-like creatures had clothes added to their chest and waist. Also, all DLC is available in the West, with the exception of the Hot Springs DLC, which gives you a range of beach-themed outfits to dress your characters in. But the DLC added more than just costumes, it also gave you a bunch of fully voiced cutscenes to watch on the in-game TV. These humorous scenes show the characters in a special Hot Spring TV show, and no statement has been made for why this isn't available in the English versions. Alongside all of these changes, characters had their ages raised outside of Japan so that there would be less concern over the stuff that the underage cast gets up to. Eleonora is now 17 rather than 16, Itsuki, Tauma, and Tsubasa are 18 instead of 17, and Yashiro is 19, whereas in Japan he is 18. Despite not being dubbed in English, Nintendo even got the original Japanese cast back to re-record hundreds of lines of dialogue to match these age changes. And it wasn't just the ages though. All dialogue referencing things like gravure modeling were changed as well, leading to the alteration of a whopping 340 lines. Then there's of course the countless textures changed in-game to match the censorship. The girl's earlier photo shoot is later turned into a magazine, which was completely redesigned. You will find advertisements for the songs all over the walls of the game, and so on and so forth. Why were these changes made, though? The explanation that was given by Nintendo is that it's due to varying requirements and regulations in the many different territories Nintendo distributes its products. It's not completely clear what is meant by this, but in regards to age ratings, Tokyo Mirage Sessions was given a teen rating in the US and a 12 rating in Europe. Was the decision to censor made by Atlas, the localizers, or Nintendo, the publishers and general overseers? It's not known, and Atlas' PR manager has stressed that they aren't allowed to talk about it and only the publishers are. Even the special edition's art book was affected. All designs censored in the game are altered in the book as well. There are localization changes, however, that were actually not changed in the art book. For example, the Hiho Mart, a shop where you can buy items to use in battle, was instead called Hiha Mart in Japan. The art book interestingly keeps the Japanese name intact. Basically, it was only the changes that are normally seen as censorship that were altered. Censorship being briefly defined here as the suppression of content that could be seen as offensive or objectionable. Some of the original creators have spoken positively of the changes, others have expressed disappointment. How does it make you feel, though, knowing that your games are commonly getting watered down of stuff that could be seen as objectionable in the West? Whatever your stance, Censored Gaming will continue to be here to keep you up to date on all of these changes. Thank you for watching.
Censored Gaming is the definitive resource for censorship. Make sure you have subscribed to stay up to date with the latest censorship in games. And if you enjoy learning about games, especially Nintendo games, then please check out my channel. I'm Loxton, and I hope you stay awesome.